No excuse. There's no excuse, yeah. you know, for disrespecting somebody, especially in the line of their work. Mm -hmm. When people don't carry out their responsibilities, they, I'm sure their channels. I want to be bad, <clears throat> There's no fucking place in the city. I don't know why it's not a thing. What? I'm sure there is, but it must be mad membership fees. Post school, uh, tennis? Badminton. Wait, all, all, all you need all is a net. Why don't you just go to the tennis court and just play there and have everybody yell at you? <laughs> Why in the world that you play tennis? Blasphemy. Here again is, uh, you know? Hello, how are yes, you? Yes, um, what, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about the personalities. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's something interesting, right? Personalities. You know, working in teams, we might be able to talk about leadership as well because in yes. one way or the other, most of us have that role. Whether you're dealing with, yeah. you know, your teammates, you're going to find yourself in a leadership role at right. some point. Right. Usually, the physician by default is the leader of a care team. Yeah. You know, whether you're talking about, you know, nurses, you know, ancillary staff, yeah. and all of that, the physician yeah. is sort of like a leader of any care That's team. That's why they call right? them orders for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just Doctor's orders. Yeah, follow my order. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, the orders come with the huge responsibilities. Huge where your responsibility. personality, that's a, that's your teamwork. That's the humbling part. Have that's you started the shooting uh, webs out of your wrist yet, or are you just? No. There we go. <laughs> Uncle Ben. Some super R.I.P. stuff. <laughs> All right. Um. So, we 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 tend to find. I'm just gonna give my my take first of all about yeah. personality. I personally don't think that um there's any one bad. You know personality mm -hmm. yeah you know as long as as long as patient care goals are being met yeah meaning as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do for the patients you know everything else no one cares about as long right. as the end result yeah. is patient a, a lot care of times you have to you have to understand that the different types of people and people have been accustomed to doing things differently. Yeah. Uh, Again, this ties in very well to the whole episode we had about backgrounds, because everyone's yeah. been brought up a different way, yeah. they've had a different worldview, a whole different experience in the medical yeah. field as well. Yeah. So now coming here, you know, it's it's a big melting pot. It's kind of like that's the whole city, man. New York City is a melting pot. And what I like about this city, and which can translate into the medical field here as well, mm -hmm. you're. You don't have to be this homogenous mass of people brainwashed to do the same thing. Yeah. Everyone brings a little bit of themselves into it yeah. and they contribute to the pile. So you s still hold on to your identity. Yeah. Like everyone has a different flavor of doing medicine as well. Mm -hmm. And we're all learning along the way. So, you know. No doubt. But I, I want to hear what he has to say. What, mm -hmm. what, are your, what are some of your takes on, you know, the different personalities we have, and so, we have come across. It's mm -hmm. interesting we're talking about it this week and I came across, a friend of mine came across this problem, it's these different personalities. Yeah. And at the end I realized that doctors, we have to know our own personality but know how to work with other personalities. Yeah. Because if you, you cannot be that one of the persons that you know what, I don't get along with you. Mm -hmm. I cannot, I'm not going to work with you because that's not how it works because uh, you, you, for instance in a hospital when you're given a team uh, regardless of how they are, how old they are, how, what's their uh, mental capabilities, you need to work with them. Yeah, no doubt. And <laughs> that's where the that part comes where and we as an intern, we need to learn as the second year, as the third years, now how are we going to cope with it? How am I going to cope with that I have a difficult patient, difficult family member, difficult nurses, difficult um, co-workers, our yeah. consuls, they, anybody could be difficult. Mm -hmm. But it's not about us, at the end it's about the patient care. Yeah. So again, like uh, Abhishek was saying, it's this a melting pot and you have to, you and other people have to learn to compromise and have to come to the table to know that we are going to have to come to a conclusion for the sake of the patient. Yeah. Not for the sake of what, what I'm thinking about your yeah. specialty and you're thinking about my specialty. Like game always, I said on that. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and uh, trust me, in the beginning it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult and especially as an intern. Mm -hmm. You, you're forced to go and interact and with all the, everybody, like, oh my God. everybody. You are patient zero for everyone. You go yeah. there, 
Right. Whatever mood people are in. You have to, you have to address it. So I yes. remember, I remember just saw so my face. All right. <laughs> so I remember, I remember um, being an intern. Every issue that doesn't go through, the senior is gonna text you. Why well, hasn't this been done? I yes. know why it hasn't been done. Yeah. And then they basically push you to go confront that situation. Yeah. Yes. That is a tough thing to do all the time. Yes. That is a tough thing to do for, for instance, when I place a console. Yeah. I have to explain. I am the the front face yeah. for my team to explain why <laughs> have I told this person, oh this specific God. person who's much more educated yeah. than yeah. me in the field, to explain it to him and convince him and her mm -hmm. to come and see this patient. Mm -hmm. And and I have realized it, it requires a certain art now in the beginning. Oh, yeah, you look it, it requires a certain art. It and does. in the beginning you are like, why is this person telling me that it's this not is, um, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm being nice, be this silly consult, or you know, why the nurse gonna ask you why are you giving this medication, yeah. or uh, everybody like you know, even your coworker gonna be like, well, do we have to go this route? It's yeah. difficult, time consuming. Can we do something that is less time intense? Mm -hmm. So those things, I always they get, but it, it's it's a it's a struggle. Yeah, I'm working on it, and yeah. a lot of us are working on yeah. it. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So just for the fun of it, um, I I feel like personalities in healthcare, and, you know, in many other fields, is usually a longer spectrum of yes, nice and asshole. Nice. Nasty. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> it's like you know, somewhere along that. A spectrum. That spectrum. Yeah. But again, it's, it's like you read really, for that person who's you know a bitch all the time, yeah. And that person who's a nice person all the time, yeah. If they're falling short on patient care goals, uh -huh. it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Yes. Right? Yeah. You can't be too nice and your patient no, is no, 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 no. in front of you, right? No. Or you can't be an asshole and then, you know, piss off all the people that are helping you take care of your patient and something happens. It's like trying to find that balance. But what are some exactly. of those what are some if you, if you want to come within that spectrum now, you know? What are some of the nice combinations you might have seen? The, no, first of all, I, I am very much against the stereotypes of specialties. Okay. I, I hate it. I hate it. Nobody has any reasoning to be rude to anyone. Yeah. And uh, yes, uh, sometimes, you know, people are really nice, but I always think niceness is a bonus. Mm -hmm. It's not a requirement, it's but if any, it's not a requirement. Like like you know, in the world, it's also a weakness. Yes, in some yes yeah. but Especially it's not real. It, no, 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 but I'm saying in medicine, it's that, that's the thing. It shouldn't be. But yeah. sometimes niceness is considered a weakness. Sometimes you get taken advantage of if you're too nice. So you. I, I, I think that more that applies a lot more in surgery, unfortunately. <laughs> Shots <laughs> fired. Anyways, keep going. Shots keep going. fired. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We're talking about you know. Yeah. Again, so the nice asshole spectrum. Nice assholes. We need to find a better name. <laughs> we, we can't call it the nice asshole spectrum. Nice, 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 <laughs> Douchebag spectrum. Douchebag spectrum. Yeah, there you, know? you go. Right. So, uh, like, again, you need a lot of insight into your own personality before we start commenting on everyone else's. No doubt, yes. no doubt. So, I'm like, the thing is, there has to be a little bit of room to move around in that spectrum as well. You can't be, there are days you can be nice, there are days you maybe need to be a little harder to get stuff done, push a little harder. So, you yeah. may come off as a little aggressive. Yeah. But, at least personally, what I try to do is respect people. Always. Even if you're going to be an asshole, you can be an asshole and still respect people. There's no reason yeah. to disrespect anyone. Big. It's never an excuse. Big. Big. Uh, Honestly, I want to I frame that and put it in a wall. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's important to recognize that it's, it's you know, again, there's several, there's several things that are just standard, mm -hmm. right? There's several things that are standard. Mm. Um, Okay, I think I'm yeah. just gonna. So I feel like um, there's some things that are standard when it comes to patient care. Mm -hmm. You know, don't ignore your responsibilities when it comes to patient care. But um, there's a duty that you have to everybody that's working with you. Mm -hmm. That respect is the number one thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether you know it's a patient care tech or a nurse or. If colleague or yeah. a fellow resident yeah. or a cleaner or a transport person mm -hmm. respect is mm -hmm. huge yeah. right and it also helps as well when people know the responsibilities so we don't have to go into the point uh, you know 
situation where we have to ask for things to be done when it's you know responsibilities. Yeah. But again, respect is a fundamental thing. Yeah, when it, it should comes be the to backbone of every interaction. No doubt, yeah. there's, there's no excuse. There's no excuse, yeah. you know, for disrespecting somebody, especially in the line of their work. Mm -hmm. When people don't carry out their responsibilities, I'm sure there are channels and ways you can escalate things, exactly. you know, make things known, report yeah. situations, and it's not it's not about you being being you know cruel it's yeah. basically you trying to ensure that a system is yeah. is being taken care of but having to disrespect people i just i just don't agree with it yeah i don't care if you're nice like henna said i really love, love the statement henna made niceness is not a requirement yeah you don't have to be nice yeah that's i don't have to be anybody's friend yeah. respect right. is a requirement right. respect is a requirement you yeah. get what i mean I, I don't have to i don't i don't have to be bros with anybody yeah i don't have to be you know guys with anybody yeah, yeah. you come show up do your work take care of your responsibilities yeah. if you're nice it's a bonus and people tend to appreciate that exactly. you know people tend to some people take it for granted right right some people some people take it for granted but i feel like you know most on the on most part people tend to appreciate appreciate niceness yeah that way, right and uh, appreciate this is where us doctors as leaders comes in yeah because what do we do when uh, we come across difficult people? Mm -hmm. Again, yes, respect is requirement. Um, um, like um, Sheikh said, like I said, niceness is not a bo uh, it's not a it's not a requirement. But what do we as physicians do mm -hmm. when we come across that? Yeah. When we come across, sometimes we can have, for instance, in our teams, we have students. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, people who had a previous experience and are students now. Yeah. And they may question you yeah. about how do you deal with it. I, I mean, all of us, we, we work really hard and unfortunately... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is the Residence Cove episode 5 now, I think. 5? Yeah. All right. Five. Yeah. Yeah. When, when Fatai told us what we were going to be talking about, yeah. both Hina and I were like, uh, uh. 